Today we are going to talk about calcium chalmodulin cascade. Calcium is crucial for numerous biological functions in plants, including structural integrity of cell wall and the membrane system. In addition, it has been shown to act as an intracellular regulator in many aspects of plant growth and development. Calcium is a universal second messenger. In general, in the absence of stimulus, cytosolic calcium ion concentration in plant cells is maintained at a concentration of approximately 100 nanomolars. In response to variety of stimuli, the cytosolic calcium ion concentration in plants is rapidly elevated. The high calcium ion concentration can be toxic to cellular energy metabolism. So this change in concentration causes the calmodulin to sense the calcium ions bind to them uh, and initiate further signal transduction. The calmodulin family is a major class of calcium sensor proteins and play a crucial role in cellular signaling cascades through the regulation of numerous target proteins. This protein is known as calmodulin because it is a calcium modulated protein that plays a vital role in process of calcium signal transduction. So calmodulin uh, is a small acidic protein uh, and is predominant calcium receptor. Once bound to calcium ion, calmodulin acts as part of a calcium signal transduction pathway by modifying its interactions with various target proteins such as kinases, uh, or phosphatases. Plants have a greater number and more diversified calmodulin binding proteins uh, than animals do. Before starting with the calcium calmodulin uh, cascade, I will tell you about calmodulin structure and its uh, activation mechanism. Calmodulin is a small, highly conserved protein uh, that is 148 amino acids long. Calmodulin has two symmetrical globular domains. Just look at this first structure the N domain and the C domain, each containing a pair of E F hand motors separated by a linker region for a total uh, of uh, four calcium ion binding sites, two in each globular domain. E F hand motifs. Why this name? Because its structure resembles a right hand fist. Just look at this last structure. With hand, uh, this uh, index finger and thumb extended. The indexed finger represents the N terminal E helix and the thumb represents the C terminal F helix. In calcium ion free state, the helices that form the four EF hands are collapsed in a compact orientation. Just look at this second structure. This is calcium ion free state, means uh, this is structure of colmodulin, and this is calcium ion free state, and this is calcium ion saturated state of colmodulin. In calcium ion free state, helices that form four EF hands are collapsed in a compact orientation, and the central linker is disordered. In calcium ion saturated state, EF hand helices adopt an open orientation roughly perpendicular to one another and you can see here these small uh, blue dot like structure two here and two here these are calcium ions. Calmodulin has no catalytic activity of its own but upon binding to calcium ions it binds to and activates numerous proteins. So currently three calmodulin activation mechanisms uh, have been observed in animal system. The first activation mechanism is relieving auto inhibition. So just look at this first structure, relieving auto inhibition. You can see here, this is inactive form of protein and this is active form. In this mechanism, calmodulin binding to a target 
uh, site and induces conformational rearrangement right so in inactive state you can see here this is auto inhibitory domain this active site is uh, uh, occupied by aig domain auto inhibitory domain so colmodulin binding to this site and induces the conformational rearrangement that displaces this auto inhibitory domain aig domain right and uh, allows for uh, full enzyme activity now this active site is fully available right now in second uh, mechanism second mechanism is active site remodeling look at this second structure active site remodeling now this is inactive site where the loop is completely disordered so this is active site so uh, the active uh, form of protein so here upon calmodulin binding a helical domain of a dimmer factor undergoes rotation away from the catalytic core which stabilize now just look at this this uh, structure it stabilize a disordered loop and leads to enzyme activation third activation mechanism is colmodulin induced dimeration in this mechanism uh, two colmodulin molecules you can see here two colmodulin molecules interact with two uh, potassium channel potassium ion channel domains now you can see this potassium channel is closed right when two colmodulin uh, molecules interact with two potassium ion channel uh, domains potassium uh, uh, ion channel opens right so this is third mechanism that is colmodulin induced dimeration next is calcium colmodulin cascade the normal concentration of calcium as we already told you within the plant cell is usually between 10 to 100 nanomolars during the brief influx of ions the concentration increases to 1000 to 1 lakh nanomolars the change in concentration causes the colmodulin to sense the calcium ions bind to them and initiate further signal transduction as we have already discussed this is calcium ion free state uh, where helices are collapsed in compact orientation and linker is totally disordered and this is calcium ion saturated state you can see here these blue dot like structures are calcium ions so binding of calcium by ef han uh, here in this structure causes opening of n and uh, c domains which exposes hydrophobic target binding surfaces. Two target binding surfaces are there. One here and another is here. So binding of colmodulin induces conformational rearrangement in target protein as uh, we have already discussed in activation mechanisms. These proteins then interact and modulate the activity of downstream target to relay the calcium ion masses and initiate biochemical cellular or uh, physiological responses now i will repeat this cascade with the help of this diagram here when uh, means in response to environmental uh, and uh, developmental signals or stimuli transit elevation of calcium oil can be observed in the cytosol uh, as well as uh, other cellular compartments now these calcium uh, variations, calcium ion variations can be decoded by wide range of calcium ion sensors such as typical colmodulin sensor and colmodulin like proteins uh, which are highly abundant in protein, uh, sorry, plant cells. Then they interact with uh, and uh, uh, modulate the activity of downstream target proteins like membrane proteins uh, enzymes like metabolic enzymes then kinases for phosphatases transcription factors right and uh, 
to relay calcomine messages and to initiate physiological, biochemical or cellular responses. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.